Okay, guys, so I just got my lashes done. Yes. How they look, how they look. <laughs> From, I'll tag the, the person that did my lashes. So, lashes are done. I did my hair last night. I did it myself. It's just crochet. Uh, beach wave free trust. Um, I picked this hair because they said it's good. You could swim in it. Um, got my nails done today. Just something basic because I'll be doing a lot of churching and you know, just don't want to bring too much attention to myself in Jamaica. So it's a clear pink. Um, they're kind of long to me. Um, but they're cute. And then, of course, nails are done. Um, lashes are done. Hair is done. Yeah. So I have a bit of a bad news, guys. I will be leaving to Jamaica for tomorrow on Monday. But, um, so my son went to the airport. Yeah. So, yes, guys, as I was saying earlier, like, my son went to the airport, packed his bags. He's five, mind you. Packed his bags, went to the airport, only to find out his passport is expired. Like, he cried. He cried so, so bad. And the worst thing about it is, like, he's five. He has never yet, like, really experienced disappointment until today. <laughs> he experienced it today. So, he, I mean, when I called him back, like, after he got home, his dad came and picked him up from the airport. Um, he was asking me about how to put the beef patty, the, um, sorry. He was asking me how to put the um, pizza in the microwave. And he was running around chilling with his iPad. So, I'm guessing he's okay. He'll get over it. But I never expect for my son to have such major disappointment so early. But you know what? It's better he get it over with earlier than young. Earlier than later. That way, you know, in life, he'll learn that sometimes things just don't go as according to plan. And it just is what it is. So this is just a pre-vacation. I'm a little bit disappointed too because, you know... You see, sis got her hair done. Well, I did it myself. That looks like my snail, but it'll look greater later. <laughs> and then I got my nails done. I got my eyebrows, my eye, my lashes done. So I'm just like on cute girl mode with nothing to do. And that's all right. Because if it don't happen, we could go to the beach. We could go. We, there's other stuff that we could do other than in Jamaica. It just sucks that the tickets are paid for and whatever. But I did get a flexible ticket. So all I got to do is call the airport and have them switch my dates to another date. And it'll be all right. So I'm not worried about that. So I'll tune in back with you guys to let you know what else is going on in, in terms of my trip. Right now, I'm about to head home because I have a homework assignment that's due. Um, for those of you that don't know, I'm trying or attempting one more time at the nursing program. And it's for no reason. It's no like bad reason why I didn't finish it. It's just that sometimes people just be like... I don't got time for that. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, come on people, let's go. Hold on. So the final days are winding down. Today is my last day for work, and then I'm officially on vacation. Um, I can't wait. I'm getting close to two weeks of vacation because I'm going to work till next Friday Going down. Um, yeah for right now I'm just chilling I'm trying not to be too stressed out 
Um, yeah. I'm out to time. Yes, guys, so a little bit of bad news. Yeah, we came all the way to Philadelphia to try to, to see if we um, could get my son's passport, but it's a no go. There are no appointments for a passport. Um, yeah, so right now we're just in Philadelphia. I don't know what the day entails for us, but I guess we're probably going back home. Um, yeah, just me and the kiddos and my husband. Philadelphia is real nice. But anyways, we about to leave. What? Can't stay in the sun or the chocolate. Alright, well, go sit in the car then. Yep, just Hi, putting you. down the car seat. Oh, Ali in the car. Ooh. Mm hmm. It's alright. Disappointments happen for a reason. My spirit wasn't in it anyway, so. I think this disappointment is for a good reason, honestly. But anyways, I'll catch up with you guys. Let you guys know what's up. We're going to have to do something very fun for the summer. Now that we are no longer going to Amica. Okay. <laughs> Hey, don't sit on the, the chocolate. Don't chocolate. Okay, so we're in South Street at the famous Geno's and Pat's. Um, two of the best Philly cheesesteak places here. Um, not really sure which one we want to eat, but probably look like he's walking to Geno's. So we'll just follow. Yeah, so I got a classic um, steak. My son got tenders and fries. More fries. How we got the steak with the cheese whiz. Um, so far, the cheese whiz Yo. tastes real good. The fries taste real good. Okay. 
Patterson. Patterson. I don't know if I don't forget to over there. Then like if they have more fish, get two fish. Yeah. Patterson Avenue. Nice not, no, 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 Philly. Yeah. No, Philly. But past the exit, to admit it, um, Street, right? So, yeah, your size in the city. They are going to press the building. Me, you want to know, oh, somebody, yes, guys. So, we just left um, IHOP. We went out to IHOP for breakfast. Hubby said he was hungry, so that's our little spot. But what we was just talking about a while ago was. I ask for egg whites because I only eat egg whites unless it's like hard boiled egg. I'll eat the yolk, but I ordered egg whites. They came with um, yellow eggs, like with the yolk. So I told the um, guy in the restaurant that I don't eat that. Can I get my egg whites? So he brought it back to the kitchen. And came back out with another plate of egg of scrambled eggs. Yellow. So I'm like, where is the common sense in this? I told you I want whites. You brought the yellow back in the kitchen and bring me back out another plate of yellow eggs. That don't make no sense. None. None whatsoever. So anyways, I ended up getting my egg whites. Um, right now we're just heading home. We gotta talk about Tess. What's up? What's on your mind? Nothing. Man. Nothing on my mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, how are you, Tess? Still up. Okay. Why well, that boy the head? People want to they just lose the yes, guys. So, Chris Brown is supposed to be in Jamaica. That's my boo. <laughs> but these tickets are insane. Like, which Jamaican really gonna go to the show? That's what I want to know. For 1.5 million, that's like a million year ones. I guess that's like politicians because who really got that much and the scammers. Ah, don't forget the them. Oh don't forget my them. God. Those are the, the ones rolling out. The scam, yeah. scam. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, I'll pay my little $20 to see it online if, if needs be. Or I'll just watch what happens after the fact on YouTube as usual. But you know. That's a good look for Jamaica because Burner Boy is down there right now for his birthday. And then he was there like last month for his show. So Jamaica is, is, is a vibe. It's a vibe. All the artists is trying to be in Jamaica. I don't blame them because it's the hot spot. So, what happened, Kylie? My son talking about he don't have any school. And then my daughter in the back singing whatever song she's singing. She's one. She can't really talk yet. So. But yeah. We're just here on our way home. Um, I don't have any plans for this week. I was supposed to be on vacation. But scratch that plan B gotta do something else so I gotta think of some things that me and my son or me and the kids um, the baby and Kyrie and TT can do something in the week y'all know how you gotta work on weekends um, yeah we gotta figure something out I wish we could be in Florida that would be nice but you know next time because Jamaica was really where it's supposed to be at. But, nevertheless, um, some 
sometimes disappointments happen for reasons beyond what we can see. Only God knows. So I'm not mad. Just more money in my pocket right now, I guess. So anyways, I might get a massage this week. I don't know. One of my co-worker has their own business. Um, I think they charge like $50 or something like that and get a massage. Anyways, I'll get back to y'all when something else pops up. Have a blessed day, guys. Say hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. Say hi YouTube. Hi. hi Guys, YouTube. who does she look like? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a cat. Hey guys. Hey. <laughs> so doing another video. But this time doing something a little different. I'm doing my hair. My daughter in the background pooping. She's warm. Um just got some track hair. Doing a quick quick weave. They call it quick weave, but it takes a minute <laughs> when you're doing it yourself. Mm. So right now I'm just measuring my, my head. Already, ha already have my leave out marked out. So once I measure, I cut. Then after I cut, I am going to do the gluing process. Okay. And after I glue it, play with it a bit. Play with it, play with it, play with it. Just doing that so it could get tacky. But anyways, it's quick read, right? So I need to be quick. So my trick is I scratch my scalp. So I can know the placement. Ooh, that one got. Uh oh. It's as close to the edge. Did I say my daughter is pooping? Oh Lord, I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, guys. So I guess she's done. So I laid that track down. Oops, one's moving. Hold on. A little trick too. Take some holding spray. Spray the track. Hit it with the blow dryer. Looks tacky. So, this is what the back looks like. You can see in number in the back of the mirror too.
So I'm just gonna keep laying tracks until I'm done and then I'll come back with the final picture. what it's looking like so far I still gotta cover this part but yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> 